our next speaker, you can all sit, is Dr. David Stevens. David is a specialist for farm systems and animal nutrition from a pasture-based system approach at Ag Research. He was very recently the recipient of the Alliance Significant Contribution Award at this year's New Zealand Beef and Lamb Awards. Dr. Stephen is well known in the farming sector for his years of research and extension work and was president of the New Zealand Grasslands Association in 2017 and has fortunately been called to step back onto that executive for his knowledge in this institution. Welcome, David. Thank you, Laura. Ladies and gentlemen, um, we're here to talk about Lotus Pedunculatus. Um, would appear to be an old topic revisited, but uh, we've had old topics revisited already this morning. Thanks, Warren. Ideal setting. Um, but in this instance, we want to talk about can it change the resilience of these pasture systems? And John has given us a great introduction to some of the challenges of some of our low fertility hill country. Um, I'd like to also acknowledge Pat and Nick Garden. Uh, again, Jeff has talked about Avenal Station being involved in uh, aluminium research in the soil. Um, interesting thought, around about half a million hectares in New Zealand hill country suffers the same fate. So just uh, to get your bearings, this is um, a shot from the top of Avenal Station, about 3,000 feet. Um, Looking down onto the farmed country at the front, that's about half the farm, is Blue Mountains, uh, Fobo Strait, and uh, Stewart Island, just around about there. Um, that half of the farm that is above the snow line, as Pat would call it, is all tussock country. And how do you deal with tussock country? How do you improve tussock country to the point where it is useful? Well. You could do a traditional development on there. It has had oversowing in the past, so you should go back and you can throw more lime and superphosphate at it to try and increase the productivity. Uh, those values there, it's $650 or $560 a hectare, are old figures. You can well imagine the price of super has gone up. Everything's doubled in the last 12 months, so they're well out of date. Um, but you can actually just fly on Lotus with relatively low amounts of uh, phosphate to get it established at about half the price. That includes um, subdivision in that uh, environment. The interesting thought here, and as you can see in the background, this is, this is what that environment looks like. This is at 1,000 feet above sea level. Sorry, 3,000 feet above sea level. Um, the interesting thought is the dotted line here is your Obasan traditional country, and the solid line is your lotus. And John was talking about the fact that you grew rubbish feed in the summer and too much of it. Well, that's uh, the dotted line. Lotus, you produce a plant that looks like that, which holds its quality all the way through summer. Changes your thinking quite significantly. But the point here is, as well, is you have to choose your enterprise appropriately. So we did some modeling uh, on the farm and if we just decided we wanted to use to change uh, the um, system or continue the system just adding more use, we made about another $15 a hectare. This is on the whole farm, it's about 2,000 hectares there, so it is kind of significant. Um, but if you changed your enterprises, you could do much, much better out of utilising that summer feed. And one of the points here, again, John was making the point, this, these properties have very long winters. And if all you do is increase the use stocking rate, you have to change your, you have to inter, increase your winter feeding profile as well. So you're better off shifting out of those enterprises. So the bottom line question was, does it change resilience? So to do that, we looked at the current systems, average year, a wet year, and a dry year, or some of the future systems, average year, wet year, dry year. Now, in a wet year, in these uh, scenarios, the front country stays growing grass because it's quite um, low rainfall down there, but the top country um, doesn't grow very much because it stays cold. And in a dry year, 
this top country we're talking about actually stays damp and is warmer. And so what you see is even in a dry year here, one of our worst scenarios, we're actually making more money per hectare than our best scenario under the current system. So virtually every scenario here makes more money than any of these scenarios. And what you also see is the difference between an average year and a dry year is nowhere near as great as it is under the current system. So, ladies and gentlemen, does Lotus Pedunculatus establishment in this high altitude, low fertility country provide more resilience? The answer is yes. Thank you.